Let me now introduce to you Guido Jure, our Chief Digital Officer, who will share with you much more what Ability can do. Guido, over to you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uli. Thank you all. <coughs> So thank you for this opportunity here today. I'm going to share with you the next level of detail on our digital strategy, which Uli just introduced. So McKinsey introduced a study in 2015 where they looked at the value creation opportunity thanks to digital. And they listed 12 technology trends, everything from the Internet of Things to automation, cloud technologies, advanced robotics, autonomous vehicles, energy storage, renewable energy, oil and gas. And for each one, they gave an estimate of the potential value that could be created through the transformative power of digital. And if you look at these 12 technology trends, by 2025, the total value created, which ABB is directly in the middle of, which is about 70% of these trends, is between four and 11 trillion US dollars. So I think we're at the beginning of an age, and we saw that in the adoption S-curve. The industries that you represent are about to be transformed. There's a huge opportunity for value creation. New entrants will enter the market as well. So it's both a risk and a great opportunity. So let's start with the very beginning. And in many cases, it's about connecting sensors to devices we already have and creating insights by sensing and analyzing that data. And this creates assessments. And these could be energy assessments, cybersecurity, efficiency, a variety of assessments that are increasingly going to be enabled with digital tools. And this is where, frankly, a lot of our competitors stop. They generate reports. They generate graphs. But the action to harvest those benefits, to take control is missing. And therefore, we think that knowing more through sensing and analyzing is great, gives you the assessments. But we think the next step is to enable you to do more. And this is where the control systems that ABB delivers come in. So systems like 800XA, Symphony Plus, these systems automate this control loop. They sense, they analyze, and they take action. And it's through that automation of the loop that we get the ultimate efficiency. But we want to go further. And therefore, we believe that once you have sensed, analyzed, and acted, you can start all over again. You can see the impact of your changes. You can create an environment that is self-learning and that continuously looks to improve. And this lets us do better, optimize our services even further. But we also know that no company is an island. As you're sensing, analyzing, and acting, and optimizing within your own factory, your plant, your infrastructure, you are connected as well to customers and suppliers and others in an ecosystem. And they, too, have these optimization loops going within their own infrastructure and their own environment. And increasingly, we're looking to advance technologies like blockchain and others to start integrating these supply chains, to start interconnecting your optimization loops with that of the companies upstream and downstream from you. And this is why the power of the cloud is so important, because increasingly, some element of data, some fraction of the data that you're generating will start to be shared in the cloud. And the cloud will give us an agility and an ability to integrate like we've never had before. So you might be wondering, why does ABB believe that it has qualified expertise in this area? And I think there's three key ingredients to become a leader in digital. And the first is you have to have insights, information. And I would submit that with 125 year history, decades of experience in deploying devices like transformers and turbochargers and other things to our customers, we have not only insight in how to design great products, but also context. And this is one of the reasons why startups or pure IT companies struggle in the industrial space because they lack this domain context. So if you connect a machine learning algorithm to a sensor, and then you take that data to the cloud, you might learn that a motor that gets turned off every Tuesday for preventive maintenance 
what the machine learning algorithm would infer is that Tuesdays are very bad. But it wouldn't have the context. It wouldn't know that that's actually scheduled maintenance versus an interruption or unscheduled downtime. So you need the context to be able to infer the information. You also need expertise in technology. And here this can range from material science, for example, our efforts in silicon carbide, where we innovate in power electronics. We do all kinds of simulations in terms of high voltage circuit breakers. We have some of the world's best experts in both mechanical and electrical expertise. And then lastly, the industry know-how. The fact that we're present in oil and gas and marine and pulp and paper for decades. And you've invited us in to help analyze some of your challenges and problems and propose solutions. This institutional memory or know-how of your industry is something that increasingly is being codified into software at ABB and delivered as part of our digital solutions. Let me bring it all together. ABB Ability is a set of industry standard solutions that are digital, meaning they're software enhanced and connected that provide real customer benefit to you today. And that customer benefit is in terms of uptime, speed and yield, safety, reliability. We have these solutions across a wide range of industries, 180 today and more being developed. So with that, I hope you can see that we are incredibly excited to talk about digital, to share our journey in digital, and that is why I say, let's write the digital future with ability. Thank you very much.